Honourable Members, the outcome of the division is as follows. The vote of 248 for and 91 against the amended EFF motion calling on the government to close the Israeli embassy in Pretoria and cut diplomatic ties was carried in the National Assembly on Tuesday. Hello guys, how are you doing? So in this video, we're going to be looking at whether this vote actually means that diplomatic ties have indeed been cut because there are many videos out there saying South Africa has cut these diplomatic ties. So we're going to be looking at the significance of the vote and the different dynamics surrounding this issue. But guys, before we take a deeper dive into this topic, hit the like button. You already know that this video is going to be good. Let's get this video to 1,500 likes. Our amendment to the EFF motion calls, Mandini Pindele, calls for a ceasefire to be agreed upon and both parties to the conflict commit to, to binding United Nations facilitated negotiations whose outcome must be a just, sustainable and lasting peace. We stand for peace. Honourable Members, is there any other further comment or declaration in this regard? Chairperson, the DA has already fully ventilated its position on this matter. And the ANC is essentially scoring an own goal here by having made these proposed amendments. This motion actually runs counterintuitive to the ANC's stated aims of having a genuine stake in negotiating a peaceful resolution to this crisis. Because by withdrawing diplomatic representation from Israel and expelling or demarching the Israeli embassy in South Africa, we are severing diplomatic ties and therefore we have no genuine stake in playing a meaningful role in negotiating a peaceful resolution. And may I also just say that there are 25,000 uh, South African citizens in Israel that will now not have any access to consular services. But more so, the South African embassy in Tel Aviv works in tandem with the embassy in Ramallah. And so the embassy in Ramallah will now not be able to function and serve people in that territory. So it's having unintended consequences. So the DA's position is it's a firm no from us. We need to have a stake in mediating a peaceful resolution to this conflict. Honorable Mulder. The amendment is different from the original uh, motion in the sense that the original motion, original motion did ask for the suspension of all diplomatic relations with Israel. Now the amendment is something different and it goes, it creates certain conditions. The ACDP. The Arab countries around Israel have not broken off ties because they want to have the influence. They, the only one country, Bolivia, has broken off ties. Never before in, that I can remember has South Africa ever broken off diplomatic ties with the country. The notion that no other Arab country which currently has diplomatic ties with Israel has severed those ties was also noted by Mulder, who said that Egypt, Jordan, Morocco, United Arab Emirates still maintain ties despite what's going on. Other opposition parties also cautioned against cutting ties with Israel, while some other smaller one, two, Sita parties supported the motion. IFP Chief Whip Narend Singh also emphasized that South Africa, and I quote, should not exclude ourselves from a peace process. But the opposition NFP and Al Jama took a different line. While NFP MP Sheikh Imam welcomed the revolutionary decision, Al Jama leader Hanif Hendrik said there is no place for Israel in South Africa every trace of Israel must be wiped off our land. However, Mary Clark, Vice President of the South African Jewish Board of Deputies, an umbrella organization representing the country's sizable Jewish community, deplored the decision. It is reported that she said that this vote has nothing to do with peace, and it was confirmed for me when I was watching on television the chanting of from the river to the sea, a clear call for the destruction of the Jewish state, said Clark. So what is the significance of this vote? According to reports, as presiding officer and house chairperson, 
Cedric Froelich put in explaining the House's competence to deal with this matter, such a resolution will be politically persuasive rather than instructive. This means this is a non-binding vote. This effectively means the government may well decide to simply note but not act on this National Assembly resolution or decide not to even note. Any decision on severing relations with Israel will have to be made by the cabinet, which meets again on the 29th of November, according to Swedrick Florek. President Ramaphosa issued a polite but non-committal response to this parliamentary vote while making clear who has the final call. President Ramaphosa notes and appreciates Parliament's guidance on our diplomatic relations with Israel, particularly with respect to the status of the Israeli embassy in South Africa. The President and Cabinet are engaged over the matter, which remains the responsibility of the National Executive. According to the reports, some officials in the National Executive were clearly annoyed by the ANC's vote which they regarded as a trespass by the party on the constitutional prerogative of the president and cabinet. Check section 231 of the constitution, said one irritated official, allegedly. Section 231 says the negotiating and signing of all international agreements is the responsibility of the national executive, the official said. Already, it seems as if the stance taken by the ANC is contrary to the statements that International Relations Minister Nalendi Pando herself said in Parliament. Thankfully, thankfully, Minister Pando, in response to a written question filed yesterday, stated that the breaking off of diplomatic ties with Israel would be unlikely and counterproductive. That is from the executive's position. Surely, ANC members of parliament can realize that it is not in the best interest to pursue this motion as amended. Guys, let us know what you think. Are you for or against the cutting of ties with Israel? If you enjoy this type of content, subscribe and binge watch all our other videos, starting with the one appearing on your screens right now.